Lights on. Brush teeth. Drink coffee. Check email. The energy grid powers your day to day. Electricity is costly and it is vulnerable. So what happens when the grid goes out? Bloom Energy is not the grid, but they power big companies, helping them transition off the grid with the fuel cell based energy they call a bloom box. It's this thing, a box that attaches to your building and is smart enough to give you energy any way you program it. Typically, electricity is generated in a way where it is the equivalent of changing your money from one currency to another five times before you end up with the currency that you actually want. At every step, you lose energy. What the Bloom Box does is it takes a fuel, converts that into electricity with no in-between steps. If you're in a developing world that does not have a grid, you don't need to build that grid. We remove the need for massive scale, large, ugly power plants to a very sleek looking small box that can be next to your office, your commercial building, your neighborhood, right there where you need it. KR came up with the idea while working at NASA. He was trying to figure out how to get astronauts power and oxygen on Mars when he stumbled upon an electrochemical reaction that put off a lot of energy. This is a fuel cell. This is the fuel cell. And you'll notice it's got two sides. Right. The green side is the side that interacts with fuel. Uh, on the back, the uh, black side is the side that interacts with air. We'll bring the fuel flow across here, and then on the back side, air will be coming across uh, the same kind of way. The two are ready to react. Uh, you've got the fuel, which has bro been broken up into smaller pieces like hydrogen. That's ready to react with the oxygen ions coming through. That's what ends up giving you the cell voltage where we get about one volt from each one of these guys and enough electricity to power a light bulb. So essentially, the fuel comes in on the top, the yep. air comes in on the bottom, yep. and through a series of hops, skips, and jumps, you're able to produce electricity. Exactly. This is the separator plate that we use to connect one cell to the next cell. So we're gonna put these plates on top like that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put another one of those cells and another plate and another cell and another plate You're stacking and them. stack them up. Then the voltages add up and I start to have enough voltage that I can do things like drive computers with direct DC power. Power homes, power buildings, uh, power whatever I'd like to power. This is the stack that's going to go into the bloom box. We stack them up and now we start getting up to the voltages that people use in buildings. How far away are we from seeing a residential unit? As we keep working on this, this is the kind of thing that makes internal combustion engines uh, obsolete. obsolete. These are the bloom boxes here. Yeah, and the way, the beauty of this is you can unplug one while everything else is operating and put a new one in and the so customer will not lose power. Yeah, hot swappable. And how many of these do you need to power you know, an entire manufacturing plant. This is three systems that you're looking at, and that powers our entire factory. The, the entire this factory is, the, is being yeah, powered by these boxes these right here. These boxes right here. Another way to think about it is about 600 US homes can be powered by this system out here. Bloom has received over a billion dollars in funding, and they had planned on an initial public offering by 2013. But that deadline has since passed, raising questions from clean tech skeptics about the company's profitability. Who are your customers right now? We have Walmart, eBay is a customer, Apple's iCloud. We have Morgan Stanley as a customer. For each of those customers, we are saving them money, we are reducing their carbon footprint, and we are giving them higher reliability power. Who is going to be the future Bloom customer? The future Bloom customers are customers who today don't have access to electricity. They are people who either can't afford it or have absolutely no access to it. Just as a personal computer changed the world, just as a cell phone changed the world, a personalized electricity generator is going to change the world.